Welcome to another YouTube video from Linden Elevator Specialties to help you become more proficient elevator mechanics. Today we are going to be working with the Dover I-2 and I-3 up-leveling adjusters. This is the I-2 adjuster. The I-3 looks just like it, only it's just a little bit larger. First of all, there's a flange that normally comes across the threads here that helps bolt it into the valve. It's not shown in the video here. There are two O-rings. There is an O-ring here and an O-ring here. These are both number 019 O-rings. These O-rings need to be replaced anytime you take the filter screen out to inspect it or if you've developed a leak on the end of the valve when your pump is running. Whenever the pump is running, if there's oil coming out, these two O-rings must be replaced. It's much cheaper than buying a, new, a whole new valve. When you take this uh, out, you always want to inspect it. The symptoms of a plugged filter screen are the car will drop below the floor and then have a hard time leveling back up. What you want to do is when you're holding the filter screen, you want to hold it by the threads here at eye height. And if you look in the video or in the, closely, you're going to notice there's a reflected sliver of light underneath the screen. When you can see that, that means that the filter screen is clean. If you don't see that reflected sliver of light, then the car is, uh, or the screen is dirty. The best way to clean this screen is you need to access the uh, port where the oil comes into the adjuster. Now, if you look very closely, there is a lip underneath this top surface right here. I'm going to shine a light in there. Can you see that hole? No. There's a hole in Yes, now. Okay, there's a hole underneath the screen. You need to locate that hole, and then you're going to take your thumb, and you're going to crush down about a quarter of an inch away. Now, this screen is stainless steel. It's going to pop right back up when you're done. And you're going to take your um, air compressor nozzle, and you're going to make small semicircles around that hole, each time getting further and further back. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be blowing all of that debris back through the hole that it came in when the oil goes in through the end of the valve or the adjuster here. When you're done with half of it, you're going to rotate it, do the other half, locate the hole, and do the exact same thing. And then you'll be able to see where the dirty patches are. They'll be dark and you'll see reflected light where the clean parts are. Just chase it over with your air compressor, crush the screen down, and shoot the, uh, the debris out through the hole. When you see reflected light all the way around the adjuster, except where the solder joint is, your screen's just as good as it was when it was new. Make sure you put two fresh number 019 O-rings on, reinstall and readjust, and you just saved your company a whole lot of money because you don't need to replace the valve just because you have a leaky O-ring. Thanks. Our phone number will be at the end of this video.